the steps of emotional freedom techniques. I'm going to show you how this works and we're going to use the same sequence in every lecture. We're going to start out by tapping below the little finger on the karate chop point of either hand. And if you so choose, you can tap your hands together at that side. And when we tap the karate chop point, we're going to say, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. We're telling our minds to bring up the file that we want to change or get rid of. Then we're going to start tapping at the top of the head. Then the beginning of the eyebrows. You'll notice on the PDF that you just saw the same acupressure points on the face, then the end of the eyebrow, then touch the bone underneath your eye and just drop underneath that bone a little bit and tap under your eye and then under your nose and then the middle of your chin. Now find the hollow of your throat and go down two inches, okay? And then you're going to go over either direction one inch so that you're right below the edges of your collarbone. You're going to tap below the edges of your collarbone. When we get really fancy, we're going to cross our hands over and tap below the edges of our collarbone. Then you're going to take your thumbs, tap underneath your armpit about three inches down from your armpit on the side of your body or if you prefer raise an arm and tap the side of your body underneath your arm. Then you're going to tap the very tip of your fingers on the side. So I'm on the side of my nail right here. Okay, we're going to tap there then the side of the index finger closest to your thumb, we're going to tap the side by the nail there. Then the side of your middle finger. Then we're going to skip the ring finger. It's a different tapping place. And we're going to go right to the baby finger and tap the side of the baby finger. And then we're going to tap on the back of the hand between the knuckles of the baby finger and the ring finger right there. That's the tapping place for the ring finger. Okay. Lastly, you're going to take a breath. <sighs> because after you finish tapping, then you need to send that energy through your body by taking a breath. Now you're going to reassess what you've just worked on to see if the emotion has dropped or if you need to retap again to make the emotion go even further because we've got the 0 to 10 scale. The 0 to 10 scale says I'm not feeling this emotion at all at a 0 and 10 says it's the worst it can be. What we're working on is getting that emotion down from a 10 or wherever it started down to a 3 or below then your mind can accept the positive. Your mind can't accept the positive or your goal until the emotion, that resonance, gets down to at least a three. Then after you take your breath and you say, gee, where is that emotion now? Or gee, where is that belief now? How much do I believe this to be true? Then after you assess it, once it gets down to that low point, then you can start tapping on the positive and saying, now I choose this. Now I choose clarity. Now I choose to make it a different decision. I no longer have fear. I no longer have doubt. I no longer have guilt. I no longer have anger. I'm relaxed and focused. I'm relaxed and focused. I'm relaxed and focused. So that is a quick tour of the steps of emotional freedom techniques. We will be practicing them more together as we continue through the lectures. I wanted to give you the basic of EFT so that you could have the map, the PDF, and now you know how to do this.
Thank you for watching.